Readers are leaders and leaders are readers. 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 Hot mama. Oh, hey guys, sorry, I was reading the Vision Traction Organizer. Sexy, right? Today, I wanna to talk to you about five books that every graphic designer needs to read in 2022. And book number one is this book right here, Traction by Gino Wickman. This book was actually recommended to me by a friend, uh, Mrs. Riley, Forbes Riley and Forbes Riley's daughter. And I read most of this book so far, and I gotta tell you, it is a highly impactful book. If you have not checked this out, I wanna encourage you to do so. There's gonna be a link down in the description where you can actually buy this book. Um, this book is phenomenal. It is a business owner's Bible, and it talks about the six key fundamentals of the EOS system. If you don't know what the EOS system is, it stands for Entrepreneur Operating System. I was gonna to try to come up with a funny joke right there, but I don't have one. EOS is an important tool for any business. This is the operating system for a business owner, and these six fundamentals that are in this book are super powerful. Just to name a couple things, it talks about beliefs, it talks about your people. It talks about your vision. It talks about your data. There's a lot of different elements that go into this that all lead to traction, which is the title of this book. So this is gonna be my first recommendation for you. This is how I would start my year. My 2022 would be starting with the book Traction. Check it out. You can find it on Amazon. Just click the link right below and you can pick up your copy. And I would love to know if you've already read this book, give me your number one gold nugget you took from it. And if you haven't, let me know that you ordered it down below. All right, the next book is Stealing Fire by Stephen Coulter. Now this book is incredible. I actually just finished it on Audible. It's an amazing book. It talks about how Maverick scientists, the Navy SEALs, and the Silicon Valley is using things like psilocybin and LSD and all these different things to biohack their brain, to get new neural pathways to create. I mean, it's just, it's a brilliant book the science of it, the connection between Google and Burning Man and all the things that you can find and learn inside of this book is gonna really open you up to a whole new world. And I want you to look at things from different perspectives, from different lenses, and really harness the power that that book has because the word stealing fire, if you really think about it, is extremely powerful. The things that mother nature has given us, the plant medicine and all the different resources aside from the pharmaceuticals and the Western medicine world, are life-changing and they can give you the biggest breakthroughs of your entire career. And so I really wanna encourage you, check out the audiobook Stealing Fire by Stephen Coulter, an amazing book, something that will deeply impact you if you really take it to heart and listen to what they're saying in that book because the top highest elite men and women of the military, in the tech space, and in all areas and sectors of business are doing things that they're talking about in this book and there's the science and the case studies to back it up. So check out Stealing Fire, that's book number two. You definitely got to look that one up. Book number three for graphic designers, and this is actually one that I went through later on or earlier this year, is The No BS Time Management by Dan Kennedy. This book is absolutely incredible. If you're somebody like me that has some ADHD, ADD type of problems and staying focused, this time management book will absolutely change your life. It talks about time vampires and people who steal your time away, like shutting my phone off during days that I'm shooting on videos, getting rid of the business and personal line and separating my business from my personal, limiting the way the ways that people can contact you and reach out to you. Dan Kennedy doesn't even have a Facebook page. He has somebody that manages a face page, Facebook page for him, but he does not have a Facebook page of his own. These are ways that you can actually get more productivity, get more done, get more traction, and actually increase the amount of momentum that you're making throughout the year. So definitely check out the No BS Time Management for Entrepreneurs by Dan Kennedy. It's a long title, but an amazing book. Very well worth your time. Something that I applied principles to immediately after reading, and I've already seen a major impact on how much I've been able to get done. And I just want you to be able to become as efficient and as effective as you possibly can. And that is a really great book in order to do that. The fourth book recommendation I got for you, this is a popular one right now. In fact, Ian, who does all of our editing and runs this channel with me, actually read this book and just finished it recently. It's Atomic Habits by James Clear. This book is gonna help you break bad habits, which is very, very important, 
and help you make new ones. He's created a four-step process. I read this thing about a year and a half ago, two years ago. I've decided today that I'm actually gonna go through it again for a second time, just because it's that impactful and I actually downloaded it on Audible. So whether you wanna listen to it on an audiobook or actually buy the hard copy of the book, you can check that down below in the description. We're gonna have that book available for you. But Atomic Habits is a great book and you can notice a trend here with all these books I'm recommending because it's towards the beginning of the year, setting you up for success, giving you good habits, giving you the opportunity to biohack your brain and really do things that you never even knew were possible, giving you the EOS operating system for your business. These are all keys that are gonna tie into you having a really, really successful year. All right, and book number five is The Win Without Pitching Manifesto. If you're a fellow creative like me, this is a big reason why I've been able to position and grow my community, grow my authority, and grow my brand the way that I have is because I've been able to position myself as an expert and as a thought leader in my industry. This is The Win Without Pitching Manifesto by Blair Enns. This book was recommended to me by my buddy Stanley, by multiple people in our Facebook group. Uh, I've heard it multiple, multiple times. I've actually bought the hard copies of this book and I've actually bought the audio version of this book as well. This is one that I'm gonna live and breathe, The Win Without Pitching Manifesto. I do a lot of this stuff already because of the mentors and the consultants and the trainings and the courses that I've bought but this is gonna be really helpful and this is gonna probably re-solidify this knowledge that I already have and make it even stronger. But what it is are 12 proclamations. 12 proclamations to help you stop pitching and start presenting as an educator and as an expert in your field so that you're not having to play the price game. When you position yourself as a leading expert in your space, you separate yourself from all of your competitors. So the Win Without Pitching Manifesto is a must-have book and that's why it made number five on the list for graphic designers books that everyone should have in 2022. So those are the five books I got for you today. I hope this was helpful. If you read any of these before, definitely drop a comment down below. And if you haven't already, check out the Instagraphics Pro Network on Facebook. I would love to have you there. This is your invitation. We're a group of creatives that are really leveling up in our health, wealth, and relationships. We're doing a lot of amazing things together, events, all kinds of cool stuff. But I would love to have you in this group with me and the rest of us. And I hope to see you guys there. I'm Adrian Boysell. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video, and as always, keep looking up.